In this video, I'll be installing and test fitting an Icon Motorsports GTI front bumper conversion kit on a 2017 Golf Sport Wagon. Now, if you've been following along with me, this video is part two. In part one, I unboxed and started to assemble a GTI front end conversion kit from Icon Motorsports that's very affordable and made for March 7 Golfs. I really wasn't sure how good it was gonna be. And after starting to piece it together in that video, I concluded it's pretty darn good. And I only spent $450 on it, where an OE bumper kit would run almost $2,000. After the initial unboxing and assembly, I still had some concerns. I just, I wasn't sure how well it was going to fit on the car once mounted. We had one side of the bumper that was severely warped, likely due to how it was stored. I also wasn't sure how well it would match up with the fender lines and how crisp the lines would be overall. So that's what I'm gonna find out today. Test fitting a bumper or any body panel is an extremely important part of the process and strongly encouraged by the manufacturer. Obviously, once you paint it or wrap it, there's no returning it. So make sure you're happy with it first. Now, let's find out if I'm gonna be happy with this and strap this bad boy on. To remove the front bumper, you gotta start by taking off the grill. There's two T25s holding it on on either side. Then you can just pry it back and lift it out. Next, remove the three T30 bolts that are holding on bumper brackets behind the grill. Inside the driver's side front wheel well, there's four T25 screws that need to be removed. Then head over to the passenger side and remove the same four screws. Then get under the car and remove all of the T25 bolts that are holding on the front bumper to other trim pieces of the underbody. Make sure you remove these three in the middle as well. Here I'm just connecting the clips on both sides where it attaches to the fender. This part requires a little bit of finesse and gave me a little bit of trouble, but you want to remove the hardware mounting brackets from the frame. I used a screwdriver to get in there and help release those clips just a little bit. This is when I realized that those three T25s I pointed out in the still frame earlier also needed to come out. And that's it, now you have a bumperless Mark 7. Here's a quick side-by-side -side of the OEM bumper versus the new GTI conversion bumper. Now that we have the OEM bumper off the car, we can remove the mounting bracket that was holding it onto the frame. Using a screwdriver, I just helped release some of those clips and it came off pretty easy. Take that mounting bracket and go ahead and slide it right onto the GTI conversion bumper. I started by aligning the front mounting bracket clips to get everything centered. Then I went to each fender and made sure the clips were aligned. Then I wanted to make sure that everything underneath was aligned and that the pieces were overlapping in the spots where they should be. And then I finally went back to both fenders and made sure that all of the clips were snapped in place. Now replace the three T30 bolts that hold in the front bumper mounting bracket. Grab your grill and go ahead and get that back in place. Now obviously I didn't put all the hardware back in yet and that's just because this is a test fit for now, but let's take a look at the details of how it fits. Man, I just recorded like the perfect outro for this video and realized I wasn't recording. So let's try again. The whole point of me creating this video was so that way you could take a look at it, get informed, and decide if this product is right for you. If you want my opinion, and for me, for 450 bucks, this product is freaking great. Icon Motorsports nailed it. When you take the hardware off the OEM bumper, it snaps right into this new GTI conversion kit. Not a problem. 
Next, all the pieces and components like the grills and the fog light grills snapped right into place and fit just like they should. And then finally, once I test fit it, obviously as you saw, all the lines from the fenders to the bumper looked absolutely great. Now, I can't wait to get this thing wrapped or painted. I'm still kind of deciding on what I'm going to do to see how it all looks. When it's color matched, I think it's going to look absolutely great. So, really excited about that. I hope this video was helpful to all of you watching it, considering it. There is a link in the description if you want to know where the product's located and find it. Um, finally, don't forget to subscribe if you like this content. Give it a like. Click the notification bell. All that good YouTube stuff. And uh, thanks for watching.